so apparently Watch Prime just about a couple of days ago on July 7th. It's now July 11th here. By the time I record this, it appears that Prime has a new website called Prime Life, which is now. A thing. Not sure why it it directed me to the Twitter account, but I think I think this is supposed to be it, but uh, I see. I see, so this other website. Happens to be fake after all. I mean, it looked believable for a second. Oh, wait. Let's see. Thanks for helping us test server loads. We are bringing the site down for now. We plan on being back soon for alpha signups. Well, apparently if you were there earlier, if you were there, there earlier on that site, you have to be there as a alpha or beta tester, which I think this site was a, was on only for beta tester. But I still believe that this site is is gonna be real. I still believe that. But there is also a prime. There was also a prime site here. And uh, the, the profile picture on this Twitter account uh, once said that he uh,
um, that has been impersonated, which says here, hello, Brian U.S. here. Going to keep this account until there is another imposter who got scared and changed their handle slash deleted their account. I I knew there was a tweet about this account before because I checked it like last week. It says that I think it said somewhere around the lines, please take please stop impersonating us or something like that. And I'm not so sure now. if that happens to be the case. But... Oh... Okay, I see the connection here. Because this account used to say Brian.us, now it changed to... Ripple T TV, which says, hey there, Brian EU and Brian US are official Brian handles managed by Brimsoft Studios. Please stop the misinformation and impersonation. Thank you. And there's a Brimsoft Studios Twitter account, which is now privated because they're currently working on their independent studio managed by a bunch of dorks currently working on Ruby TV. And I guess Marie TV uh, officially used to be the real prime site that has been impersonated. And Well, judging by the looks of this, um, I might make another video about this because uh, I think I'm about to run out of time here, as the video has said. On my end, I'm recording for about 9 minutes and 38 seconds. I'll do my best to read quickly. I'm Nick, Rimsoft Studios Managing and Marketing Community Manager. This is really difficult for me to explain. I'll do my best. Prime.tv started as Prime TV a couple months ago, but it was nothing more than a joke. As at the time, our whole team was freelancing. As our first project, Bentonar Studio failed because of funding. And that's where I ended off there. Tune in for the rest of the video.